Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. Today we'll create neon light effect. So from the toolbar, take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle over the complete artboard. And from the swatches, let's take dark in color as the neon light effect gives more better result with the dark background. Now from the toolbar, take this ellipse tool and here draw a circle using shift alt key and drag it remove the fill color of the circle and choose white color now from the toolbar take this text tool and here write your own text let me drag the text and make the size bigger change the color to white so that it would be visible to you and here write your own text Drag the text using Alt key and make a duplicate. Here write effect. Now if you want you can change the font as well from the character option. Let me take this font. Now select both the text. Go to edit copy edit paste in place go to object from here hide it select the text using shift key from here choose dark in color and under this transparency here you'll find the blend mode in blend mode there are many options are given here choose multiply now go to object and show the text we have just hidden select the text using shift key go to edit copy edit paste in place and hide the new text select this one and change the color select this one and change the color let me make little dark in color now select this one and this one and from here choose hard light now select this go to effect stylus and drop shadow here in case of offset here make it zero Y offset also zero blur you can increase the blurriness let's take 10 and opacity you can take 75 or even 80 you can take it and in case of color doge you make it normal and choose the same color for the shadow take somewhat the same color and click OK and you can preview it and here click OK similarly for this one select it go to the effect stylist drop shadow put the same values here and change the color to the red OK can preview it okay now go to object and show all select this text and this one using shift key from here remove the fill color of the text and choose the outline color increase the stroke from here for the top text let me increase the stroke little more because its size is little bigger now select this one and this one using shift key 
go to edit copy edit paste in place and from here reduce the stroke size make it 1.5 object and from here hide it now select this one and change the color go to effect stylus and from here drop shadow choose the similar color for the drop shadow okay preview it so here blurriness is coming more we can make it less take it seven and okay now select this one and change the color now go to effect drop shadow change the color okay you can preview it okay now go to object and show all increase the stroke from here now select this and increase the stroke from here you can choose the color go to edit copy edit paste in place change the color reduce the stroke from here go to object and hide it select this one go to effect and here also give the drop shadow choose the similar color for the drop shadow okay you can preview it click OK now go to object and show again edit copy edit paste in place reduce the stroke go to object and hide it now select this one and change the color to this and apply effect okay preview it click ok now go to object and show all now let me select them and you can rotate it little like this if you want you can apply different background here so here let me take this background and leave it here send this to the back select this one from here you can choose color now select this one Control C Control Shift B and make a duplicate and here instead of color let's take multiply and select this three and send it to the back now select this one again Control C Control Shift B and make a duplicate here let's apply the gradient color choose radial gradient select them and send it to the back let me give little transparency here now you can add more effect here suppose from here take this ellipse tool and here draw a circle using shift alt key and for this uh, black color you can reduce the opacity to zero
select this one and from here choose hard light and bring this one here Now from the toolbar take this ellipse tool and here draw a circle like this. If you want you can change the color instead of white color you can take any other color from here. Let's take this one and from here you can choose color dodge and bring this one here. If you want, you can give some transparency as well. You can change the color to this one. So hope you understand how to create neon light effect in Adobe Illustrator software. And here I am Abul Mansur. Wish you all the best. See you in next video. Have a nice day.